Let's go over some of the database, numeric, and string functions. And also we'll talk about some of the database date and time functions. So there's a lot of numeric functions that you can use in your SQL statements. There's ABS for the absolute value of X, log for the natural logarithm of X, POW for X to the power of Y, RAN for a random number between zero, which is inclusive, to one, which is exclusive which means zero is included, but it'll never be one. It'll always be slightly less and a fractional number. There's round, which rounds X to the D number of decimal places and square root or SQRT, which is the square root of X. For the string functions, there's concat, which concatenates two strings, STR1 and STR2. Concatenate basically means it just sticks them together, or glues them together. There's lower, which takes your string and makes it all lowercase. Replace will replace all occurrences of, of one string to another. There's substring, which will get a substring starting from a position of length LEN. Trim will remove the leading and trailing white spaces. This is actually a really useful function because if you're reading data from a text file or for some, some outside source and it's coming into your database and that data, let's say, is numeric, you don't want to have blank spaces in that numeric value or you'll get some kind of database errors. So it's good to run trim against those types of data. And then upper, which makes your string all uppercase. And then there's date and time functions. There's cur date, which returns the date time in the format seen here, the four digit year, dash two digit month, dash two digit day. There's cur, t cur time, which returns the hours, minutes, and seconds. There's now, which just gets you the time right now, and with, which includes the date and the time. There's date, which gets you the exact date from the string date time expression. And there's time, which extracts the time from the string time, string date time expression. And if you wanted to get the day, month, year, hour, minute, seconds from the date time expression, there's functions for all those two. And two other functions are the date diff, which does a string one minus string two for the date, and it tells you the difference in number of days. And then there's time diff, which returns the time difference between the two string dates. So definitely keep these all in mind if in case you ever need to use any of these date and time or any of these numeric or string functions. Now let's try a couple of these out ourselves and just see how they work. First, let's try out some numeric functions. We could do select pow two to the fifth power. Simple as that, let's run it and it gives us 32. Select square root of 25. This should give us five, there it is. Let's, let's get a random number in there. Rand or select rand just see what that gives us. Here's our random number between 0 and 1. Let's try out some of the string functions. Select star from artist. So I have a table called artist. And let's see what we got in there. We've got these artists. Select upper name from artist. Should give me all the names in uppercase letters. There it is, everybody's now in all caps. And let's just try one or two of the date functions as well. Select now, let's see what that does. This gives you the date and timestamp now so you know exactly when I made this video. And since this returns back the string date and time, we could actually extract some data out of there like month. Let's just get the month from there. Will that work? I'm just totally guessing if, this, and I don't know if this is gonna work, but let's see. It did, it got, that's the ninth month. So yeah, that did work. Day, 17th, and time. There's the current time. And there's a lot of other functions. We don't have time to get through them all today, but you should definitely try them out or just remember that they're there in case you ever need to use them.